Speaking yeah, of the heat, but, <laughs> speaking of the heat, watch this segue. Things are heating up between you and John Bell Edwards, Governor Edwards, over 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 the death penalty. Give us a little summary of what's going on, would you please? Yeah, I mean, Robert, look, this thing is pretty simple. So, you know, back in 2016, when we took office, uh, the suit had been dragging on. Uh, we had we have not carried out an execution till since 2010. Uh, when we got involved, we looked at the case. We, 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 we listened to what the lawyers at the time, you know, who had been involved in the case were saying. Um, uh, we, in an effort to try to get our, our hands around the issue, we agreed to uh, an extension, okay, uh, to the state. This was back in 2016. Um, in between, from that point forward, we had numerous conversations with the Department of Corrections uh, to outline paths forward and methods under which we could go back to carrying out these executions. Uh, the, each and every time when we laid those out, we understood, and, and, and I, look, I respect that, uh, that, that the Secretary of the Department of Corrections has to answer to the governor. I mean, that's who he's appointed to. That's who his boss is. And so ultimately he had to get signed off on, you know, for us to move forward. That never occurred. Then fast forward. Um, we, you know, we don't hear anything. There's no movement. Nothing's going on. They decide, they did not communicate with us, to an additional extension of the particular state. And, 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 that, was, and, and that was like the straw that broke the camel's back. Because, look, we have laid out uh, a, a multitude of possible solutions. Other states all around us have worked through the same particular issues and have been able to carry out their execution. And, you know, here's my concern. My concern is for the public safety, okay, is for the safety of our citizens. When you have a rule of law, when you have sentences and you don't carry them out, that is not in any way a deterrent from crime. That is an encouragement of crime. Mr. Jeff, pardon me. If we go back a couple of years and, and when John Bell was running for governor, and he sort of presented himself, I'm the Democrat that you conservatives can vote for. And part of his platform, if you will, was backing the death penalty, was backing capital punishment. Do you think this is purposeful? Do you think this is a hedge on that by him? Or do you think it's just uh, that that it's a legitimate legal that it's a legitimate legal fight? Well, it, 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 look, he has never answered that question. It, we have been posing that question to him since last week. The media has consistently asked him about it, and he has never answered the question of, do you or don't you support the death penalty? You know, and, and Robert, here's the thing that I think citizens need to understand. When someone goes on trial for a capital crime, there's basically two, there's two trials. One is to determine whether or not they committed the offense. Then the next is to whether or not – it's a whole other trial as to whether or not the offense that they committed – deserves the death penalty, okay? And so right now we have over 70 people sitting on death row, and we haven't carried out an execution to, since 2010. The state of Arkansas, several months ago, uh, a number of months ago, a good, a good friend of mine, Attorney General from there, Leslie Rutledge, was able to break through the legal uh, blockades and put seven of them up in 24 hours. Now, not all of them were carried out, but I think they carried out two or three of them, okay? And and, and, and and speaking of her, she tells me that it absolutely made a difference. Let me ask you, Inside. Jeff, I'm, I'm a little yeah. miffed by how this legal rank, the Edwards administration petitioned the federal courts for a year-long extension of this no execution. When the governor of our state typically petitions the court, your state attorney general is the one who does that. You, you're telling us that you didn't, you weren't in on this whole legal maneuver well, at all. Well, well, right. So, so here's what happened. It was really, it wasn't really, it, it was technically not the governor, but it was the Department of Corrections uh, that filed the motion for the state. Wouldn't when you typically involved, be involved in that? We, well, we were, we were involved, and we, we at the time we had enrolled. So what happened was back when when I took over. Um, uh, the governor's office on the agenda was was basically running most of the legal affairs of the state, which was which was not the way our constitution was designed. Mm -hmm. If y'all remember, the governor and I had a big old 
fight over this in, the, in 2016. I took him to court. The court answered that, yes, the, um, uh, the attorney general is the chief legal officer for the state. So there were some cases under which, you know, the Department of Corrections hires an attorney to defend them. We approve those attorneys. Sometimes we get involved at, at various different levels. We were involved. We, it, we, we did enroll in this particular case. When they decided to file the motion, they did not notify us. They just figured, I, now look, I, well, I'll, play, I'll go ahead and play, play devil's advocate for them. Okay, I'll give them a pass on this, Aaron, um, in good faith. Maybe they figured because in 2016 we had agreed that we would just, that, that they could just, it was apparent that we would agree again. But that wasn't the case. We had laid out a number of, of methods or paths forward to find a solution to get these executions back on track. And they never responded to that. They never responded to that. And so when they, you know, when they just up and went and filed the motion for the extension, I said, I told our people, I said, you know, when they started talking, we said, we went back to them and said, hey, what about all the things we laid out? So well, we can't get the governor to sign off on it. Basically, right? Mr. J, you, you see at this point, you see Governor Edwards as an obstacle. Fair enough? Oh, no, absolutely. It's a complete obstacle. And here's, here's the interesting part. You know, the governor, he is so crafty. I, you know, I give him that. You know, he's so crafty at convincing the public as to what he, what he, he they want him to do. Well, he does the opposite, okay? You know, because he was like, well, you know, the attorney general never put forth legislation. The governor put the legislature in session a record number of times to raise taxes when he wanted more money out of the taxpayer. The governor, okay, with his leadership, put forth all his criminal justice reinvestment bills out there that let all these people out of prison in, in, early, in, in early sentencing. His pardon and parole board, if you go back and look, at the number of pardons and commuting of sentences. And, and this is, again, he said, you know, I'm for taking care of nonviolent offenders. I, will, I would beg to differ that his record shows differently. So right now he's saying, right now he has admitted, since I raised this issue, that, well, you know, we need a legislative fix. Well, let me tell you, where has he been? 